Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to go over every single step of getting shaders from how to download it to how to install it to even how to install shaders packs, which are basically the different types of shaders that you can have in Minecraft. This is going to be an in-depth look at all of it. First of all, though, we do have for our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdown craft com on them so if you want to start your very own minecraft server so you can check out your shaders with your friends check out apex the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex nevertheless though you are here to get shaders and on minecraft server so let's go ahead and do it first thing i'm going to do is go to the second link down below this is going to take you here this is actually where you can download some shaders packs and that's the first thing that we need to do shaders packs are basically sh how you can install different types of shaders in Minecraft. They're basically the resource packs for shaders, right? That's why they're called shaders packs. And on our website here, on this link, the second link down below, we do have five different options. All these are solid options, honestly. We're going to install BSL shaders today, as well as we'll do the first one as well, Continuum. Now, it doesn't matter which shaders pack you install, they're all going to be installed the exact same way. So that is one thing you need to keep in mind. All shaders packs are installed the exact same way, no matter what. So I did go ahead and open those, by the way, by basically right-clicking and clicking Open Link in the new tab. So here they are at the top. This is BSL Shaders. Now, there's tons of different things BSL makes. We're looking for BSL Shaders right here. And then once we're here, we can go ahead and click Download on the right-hand side. And then finally, we can scroll down and click on the Download BSL Shaders button there. Kind of crazy going through all that, but here we are now. BSL Shaders is downloading. And boom, there we go. Now, you may need to keep or save this file, but I don't need to. Mine is going to just save automatically. As you can see, here though this does have 10.7 million downloads we're good to go if you need to keep it it'll be in the bottom left if you need to save it it'll be in the center of your screen depending on your browser let's go ahead and move on to continuum now this is actually an in-depth guide we have on continuum shaders on our website for continuum specifically once you're here though go ahead and click on the yellow download continuum shaders button that will take you to continuum shaders official download page where we again want to go ahead and scroll down until finally at the very very bottom we have continuum downloads Click on that, and that will take us to the Downloads page for Continuum, where we want to click on the first download here. Now, yours may not be 2.0.4. It might be a different version, but that's okay. Just go ahead and click Download under it. Then again, it will automatically say for me in the bottom left, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. I know it's amazing. How can we not be? But we still do have Optifine to download. Optifine is how Shaders runs. It's how Shaders works, and basically how everything in Shaders can be used in 1.17.1. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine by going to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. Now, if you do have any struggles getting Optifine, this is a great tutorial that goes more in-depth than what we will in this Shaders tutorial, but we're going to be showing you 90% of what you need to know to get Optifine. The only 10% we're not showing you is if you have some very specific issues that, you know, might pop up. We might not show you how to solve those in this video, whereas we do in the Optifine tutorial. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the green download Optifine button. That's going to take you to the Optifine download page. And when you're here, you'll see Minecraft 1.17.1 is up here at the top. Under that, we do have preview versions. Now, you may not have preview versions. You may just have a version that looks like this. And if you do, just continue on with the tutorial. It's going to be the same because now this version has appeared here. If you don't have any versions, then click on preview versions and this will pop up here. Now, one thing I do want to mention, this may be different, right? You may have a different Optifine version. It might not say pre-26. It might not even say pre at all. It might say something completely different. And that's okay, right? All you want to do is make sure you have a version of Optifine under Minecraft 1.17.1. Once you do, go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side and click on the mirror link right here. When you click on mirror, it's going to take you to the official download page for Optifine 1.17.1, as you can see, and then click on the blue download button there, and it's going to immediately download Optifine in the bottom left. We do want to keep or save the file depending on your browser. I'm on Google Chrome, so we want to go ahead and keep it in the bottom left. It has Optifine in the title. It's 100% safe to keep, and same thing on Mozilla Firefox. You want to save it in the center of your screen. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here it is up. We have uh, quite a bit of stuff. Right? We have our BSL shaders, we have our Continuum shaders pack, and then we do have Optifine as well. If these on your desktop, they're going to be fine in your downloads folder. So go ahead and click the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, and then top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and in here you will have Optifine and shaders. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and start off with the Optifine installation, right? You got to install Optifine before you can get shaders, unfortunately. To do this, you want to go ahead and right click on Optifine here and then click on open with. Now your Optifine logo may be different from mine. If it is, I'll show you how to fix that in a second. But first do what I just did. Right click on Optifine, 
click on open with. Then you should have Java here. If you don't have Java, I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. Just, just wait for one second. And then if you do have it, click on Java and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java on that list of right click and open with, if Java isn't here, or if your logo is different than mine and it's just not working, like it's a WinRAR file or a zip file or something like that, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and go here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Optifine and shaders are obviously a mod to Minecraft, so you need to download this version of Java. It's a pretty simple three-step process. Process. We even have a video up here at the top on how to do it. Next up, though, we need to go ahead and look at the jar fix because if you download and install Java and you're still having issues, most likely, for example, your issue would be that your logo on your, you know, Optifine file, right, like this logo right here, is not the same. It's still not correct. To fix that, you need to run the jar fix. And this is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them to Java, right, like so, kind of linking them up and working together. And we go ahead and minimize our browser. Again, we can finally right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. As I'm going to open up the Optifine installer, where we want to make sure it says Minecraft 1.17.1 here, just confirming we're installing this with the correct version and then click on this install button. Now at this point, it's gonna go ahead and install Optifine. It doesn't give any progress or anything like that. It just kind of freezes. And then after a few seconds, maybe even a minute, it will go ahead and say Optifine is successfully installed. Now, the one thing I do wanna say here is if it fails, if Optifine doesn't install, you need to go play Minecraft 1.17.1 without any mods, without any anything, and then come back and it will work. We go more in depth with this on our Optifine tutorial. Nevertheless, once you've got Optifine and successfully installed, you can go ahead and click OK and close out of that. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, we should have an Optifine profile. So to do to select this profile, click on the little arrow to the left of the play button and then click on Optifine. Now as you can see, it says 1.17.1 Optifine under it. 1.17.1, that's good. Go ahead and click the green play button. You will need to understand the risk and click play. However, the reason you have to understand the risk is because you're playing mod in Minecraft. Basically, Mojang saying, hey, you're playing mod in Minecraft. Do you know that? And yes, you do. So go ahead and click that and click play. Now, what if you don't, however, have Optifine here or don't have 1.17.1? Dot one under your Optifine basically version there. Well, in that case, you want to go up here to the Installations tab, and then you want to make sure Modded is checked in the top right. So as you can see, I unchecked Modded, Optifine disappeared. It's like I don't even have it. It's not there anymore. If we check Modded again, it comes back, and then we can click Play, all that stuff. However, if you still don't have Optifine or it doesn't have 1.17.1-Optifine under Optifine there, we want to go ahead and click on the New Installation button. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that is our own incredible 1.17.1 Grief Protected Survival server. We also have custom Skyblock over there. You will absolutely love Breakdown Craft. Come play with us. If you're looking for 1.17.1 Survival, we are the place to go. So again, the IP is play.breakdowncraft.com. Come play with us. Nevertheless, once you've got your name entered there, we can go ahead and click on the version drop-down box. This is the important part. When you click on this drop-down box, you want to find release 1.17.1 Optifine. Right here it is for me. Go ahead and click on that. And then you want to go ahead and change our resolution. So my resolution is that. You don't have to change your resolution. I'm just doing that because we're making a video and I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. The most important part of this entire page is that it says release 1.17.1 Optifine right there. Then go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But most importantly it says 1.17.1 Optifine under it. Go ahead and hover over this, click the green play button. Then we want to go ahead and understand we know we're playing modern Minecraft and we're good to go. And then go ahead and click the green play button there. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Optifine ready to install shaders. You might have come to this video not knowing you needed Optifine for shaders, and if that's the case, you're probably wondering why you just did all that. Well, it's because you need all that to install shaders. Sorry about the little jump cut there. The reason I have to do that is because my computer lags like crazy whenever it opens up Minecraft, so I do a jump cut in order to prevent me sounding like I'm a robot, pretty much. Anyway, here we are now on the Minecraft main menu. From here, we can go ahead and click on the Options tab and then Video Settings. Most importantly, now you'll see Optifine in the bottom left. That's showing that Optifine is installed correctly. So again, that was from the main menu, Options, Video Settings, and then in Video Settings, you want to go ahead and click on Shaders. So once you're in Video Settings here, click on Shaders, and you're good to go. Now, sometimes you'll get an error basically saying that you have to turn off certain different things in order to get uh, shaders to install. I forget exactly what it is, but basically any of those settings are in Optifine if you have to turn them off. So just look around, you'll be able to find them. I apologize for not knowing what they are off the top of my head. They've changed over time. But nevertheless, again, once you're in your video settings, click on shaders, and this is your shaders menu, right? This is where you can kind of see all of your shaders packs once you have them installed. How do you install shaders packs? Well, click on shaders folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up the Shaders Packs folder here. Where you want to do is take the Shaders Packs that you have on your desktop, in my case, BSL, and Continuum, and drag and drop them into the Shaders Pack folder. 
Now watch this. If we go back to Minecraft, there they are. BSL and Continuum. You may have to click Done and then click on Shader Specs again, but right there they are for me. Now, we're going to go ahead and start off with BSL Shaders, so just go ahead and click on it on this page. Minecraft's then going to reload, basically activating the Shaders Pack, and then boom, there we go. Now we have unlocked on the right-hand side a bunch of different options here. Now, this is what's the benefit of using this video over just saying like, installing Optifine, installing Shaders yourself. I'm going to show you some of these different options. So anti-aliasing, it's going to make things look better. Different quality settings, so if you want to make things look better, you can do that there. And what's great is if you go ahead and hover over these, you'll be able to see the difference. For example, if shaders is lagging for you and you want to try to run it, you could actually turn this to 0.5 it's going to lower the quality, but it's going to make it run better. However, by default, it is at one, right? Go down through all these settings. Most of them do have different, you know, tool tips that you can look at. But most importantly, what about advanced shaders options? Well, that's going to be shaders options down here in the bottom right. And here they are, right? Here are all the different shaders options. These are going to be different for every shaders pack. But man, there's some cool stuff in here. For example, if you have issues with lighting, you can go ahead and turn this on. If you have issues with different, you know, sky effects and different things like that, a lot of times it's going to be in color grading or there is sometimes a sky or atmospherics. For example, yeah, atmospherics, sky saturation you could turn that on or off if you're having different sky issues even the sky config is there so really cool stuff shaders options is a great place to basically tweak shaders and make it as perfect as you want and truly your own Nevertheless, we do now have that shaders pack selected. So let's go ahead and jump on playdotbreakdowncraft.com and just showcase how awesome these shaders packs look. So of course, playdotbreakdowncraft.com, our incredible 1.17.1 survival server. So as you can see, we are now kind of underground at our house. We can go upstairs and, oops, excuse me, go upstairs and look around. So you can see how beautiful this looks with BSL shaders. We walk outside and uh, I, I was hoping the glowing effect would, would go away, but I'm guessing that is something we can change in our settings there, our shaders options. We can go ahead and go to spawn, for example, and look how awesome the bridge at spawn looks as well as a spawn itself being more, you know, a darker color looks really, really good. This is a very, very bright shaders packs BSL, but it is one of my favorites because of that. Many are too dark. Let's go ahead though, go ahead and escape, click on options, video settings, and then click on shaders. Again, that was escape, options, video settings, shaders, and now we can actually switch shaders in game. So we can go ahead and click on Continuum. Minecraft is going to reload. And in the background, a new shaders pack is active. Again, though, you do have all of your different shaders options over here, as well as your, your more basic options over here, as well as your advanced shaders options in here. And as you can see, these are a bit different. For example, we do have a dedicated cloud settings if you wanted to go ahead and turn those on or off. And again, a lot of these do have tool tips as well. So you can hover over them and see different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done there, click done again. Click done again, and as you can tell, we have a completely different pack in here. And uh, the sky, like I said, is a bit glitched on this pack. You'll notice that the sky is glitched on a lot of packs, honestly. Even the lighting in here is a little glitchy, and I'm actually glad it's showing this, because one of the things that I will say is that while in a lot of this stuff, by the way, can just be tweaked in settings, I guarantee I could work this out all in settings. Everything you're seeing right here, just playing around with them. But nevertheless, one thing I do want to say is that Shaders is buggy right now. It is glitchy. It is having issues. And the reason for that is because Optifine is still in beta, right? It's just just came out a few days ago. Literally 1.17.1 came out a day ago. 1.17 came out with shaders like a week and a half ago or something like that. So it is a very, very new. And because of that, you are going to get glitches. You are going to get errors. You are going to get different things that do happen. So be prepared for that and go report the bugs to the developer of the shaders pack and they'll be able to get them fixed and working with the new version of Optifine. So go ahead, report those, or they'll be able to tell you, hey, change the setting and that will do it. So that is how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.17.1. Come play with this on truly the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play our break Craft.com. You will absolutely love it here. It's an amazing server. 1.17.1. Grief protected survival. So anyway, come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy your new shaders, and I'm out. Peace.